push-ups. So this is the same as a regular push-up. Our hands are gonna be underneath the shoulders. We're gonna have our straight body line with the shoulders, the hips, and the feet. We're gonna pull ourselves down. Then we're gonna drive through the heel of the hand, pressing to the top in a strong front, front support position. Now, this is a strong band. So you wanna find a band that is gonna be um, adequate for the resistance that you need. Okay, so what you're gonna do is place your hands inside. It's gonna come directly across the top of your back as if you're kind of giving yourself a nice hug, okay? From here, extend, and just the same as regular push-up, except now you have the added resistance band working against you. You're gonna pull yourself down and then press yourself back to the top. Now, one thing to note is when I'm doing my push-ups, my elbows are facing directly behind me, so my, my, my arms are not going between the bands. So, so what I'm saying, is if you notice, the band stays behind me for the entire push-up. Or excuse me, stays to the outside of my arms for the entire push-up. See that's on the outside? It may be easier for you to get your arms kind of in, coming in through the band. Like so. So the only difference for that is that I'm doing mine, my elbows are facing straight back so the band stays to the outside. If my elbows come out at about 45 degrees, they'll go between the band, which is totally acceptable. The only thing we don't want is this, where the elbows flare out directly lateral. So as long as the elbows are at least 45 degrees to the side or straight back, then it's totally acceptable. This is a fun uh, push-up progression. I know you're gonna love it. So. Uh, make sure you have a, a band that is uh, up for the task for the prescribed amount of reps you're going for. That is your resistance band push-up.